Oh, hello there, fellow MetaQuest users, or should I say, Oculus Quest users. Today, I got scammed with my drivers. Yes, me, Mr. Wannabe Neo Techie, whatever. I got scammed for my drivers. It's at my dad's house, having a little afternoon, showing him virtual reality for the first time, and his computer didn't have the driver, so I looked online for Microsoft Bing instead of Google. <laughs> I looked for Oculus Software Desktop PC, like you see right here. Right there, Oculus Software Desktop PC. All right, so what did it bring up? Well, let me tell you what it brought up. A bunch of bullshit. So look right here, en-oculussetup.com, Oculus Setup. Now I should have known better, it's called Meta now. It's not called Oculus anymore. So I'm probably going to go somewhere that's going to have some bad downloads. There may be some older ones that might be good, etc. But you got to be really careful on Bing. So go over here to Google. And if I type the same thing, do you think it's going to come up? Let's take a look. Same thing. Oculus Software Desktop PC. Let's see what this comes up with. Nope. How about further down? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Keep looking. Don't see it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is Microsoft should be more worried about people getting infected and crappy software being shared and other things. But let's get to it. So I went to this website like an idiot and I downloaded the software. So it sure does look real except Look at the Oculus right there. Look how close it is to the edge of the browser window, even if I shrink it down. It looks like, you know, somebody made a template. So let's look at the very bottom. Everything looks like it's been designed by Meta, by Facebook, but it really hasn't. So if you look at the very bottom, what does it say here? Your website, copyright your website 2022, all rights reserved, which means this is a template. How did I know that? So. I went to enoculussetup.com and went over here, for instance, and I went to an I can look up. So I said, I wonder who actually owns oculus.com. Well, if you see right here, Facebook does. Wait, there we go. Facebook owns uh, their name servers. It's really them. They're the real deal. Okay. Which is great. But who owns en dash oculus setup webhostbox.net and it was at it was uh put together at namecheap which is one of the one of the cheapest servers actually cheaper than that is pork bun i would advise to use them they're very very good and their security is pretty tight but i don't think microsoft would use namecheap for their registrar <laughs> okay so i download the software I'm about to install it and I stop and I think to myself, all right, let me log in. The login screen comes up and it asks you for my password. And I thought, mm, oh, I'm on my dad's Facebook. Let me use another browser. So that way there's no cross contamination, but it jumps to the default browser. So annoying. Really Facebook, Meta, you have to change that. You have to fix that. You do not have to jump into a web page to log in. That's ridiculous. So many things can happen even to me. So I logged in, all of a sudden I said, I put up my phone number. I said, wait, my phone number should already be in there. I've already set up my phone with the Oculus Meta software. Hmm. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. Oh my God, let me check the name server. I've totally been hacked. I kid you not, my dad was sitting right there. Within five minutes, five minutes, a guy with a Western Asian Indian Polynesian accent says, Hello, this is um, John, and you are trying to log into your Oculus? And I said, uh, well, no, actually, I just went to your website and you tried to fish my information, and that's not gonna work for you because the password's already changed. So what you do is, you go into your Facebook, and you make sure that you're logged into your Facebook, etc., whatever's going on. Once you're in your Facebook and this happens, you instantly have to go down here to your settings and privacy. Once you're under settings and privacy, instantly go into security and look to see uh, security and login. Look to see 
where you've logged in, right? There's my phone, there's a Windows PC, and then you can see more, the places that you've logged in, right? All right so it looks like a lot, but it's not. It's just different places, or if you use um, a VPN, it looks like you're in different places kind of a thing, or your friend's house and their Wi-Fi or a coffee shop, it's fine. But down on the right side, you'll see log out of all sessions. That'll be in see more, see less. Log out of everything. Change your password. Do a two-step verification as well. You can do that on here. Look for two-step uh, factor right here. Use two-step factor authentication. So there's a, there's a code that goes to your phone every time you log in. It's annoying, but once you've done it on one device, it trusts it unless you're using a VPN or you clear your cache and your cookies because your system is going slower. It's kind of clunky but they couldn't get into my system and I caught them and they just didn't know what to say. They tried their best to stay kind of professional, but that's why I made this website. Do not trust something and download it. Even if you're a person who uses computers all the time, you're really, really good at it. And you're a super techie person. Listen, let's go back to this weird website and take a look. This is enoculussetup.com. I'm going to maximize this screen. I know it's 4k. Most of you be looking on a phone or HD device, but Let's press F12 and take a look at some of the code. Tons of errors down here. What's going on? Uh, the origin policy, you're, they're doing remote origins on here, which means they're crossing and faking information, like a fake name tag if you would, and somebody comes to your door to fix something at your house or your building and they steal from someone. So if we look in here and we scroll, uh, we zoom in a little bit, we could probably say, hmm, look at all these different uh, sort of these source codes. So look at talk.to, whatever that app is. Who knows what this app, these are, but T-A-W-K.to, what is that? And let's keep looking about who wrote this. Is it a template? It's a bootstrap, obviously, you can see that. But let's go to talk.to to see what that is. Oh, I typed it in wrong. T-A-W-K.to. Message your customers, they'll love you for it. So they're using a remote service, they're probably paying a couple bucks for a month to pretend to be customer service. That's how advanced they are. This is how advanced they are. So be careful for your, me or your parents, grandparents, or your your nephews, nieces, and, or kids, your kids or somebody else's kids. Make sure that when you're downloading software, you go to oculus.com for now. And this is uh, March 18th, 2022. It may change the meta, but go to oculus.com. Once you're in oculus.com, you can actually log into your account, go to the bottom, you can get software, MetaQuest, you can do a lot of different stuff here. And from this point on, you can find downloads inside of here. Do not use third-party sites or you don't know what it is, etc. Be very, very careful. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't think it was even possible. But then I had to think to myself, how many websites are out there that give you like a crappy version of an FTP program and then they inject something into it? I just didn't realize that MetaQuest or Oculus is so popular and people are so conniving to do this. So that's about it. I'm going to log this off right now and edit it and put it up for everybody to see. Have a good day. Good night. And I'll see you in the virtual world or the real world. Both are amazing. Both are fun.